Hi, my name is Derek Kanye. This is the Derek Kanye Experience again. This is the wall, my wall, and my narrative where I get a chance to get things off my chest and speak my mind and clear my throat. If it moves you, let it move you. But if it doesn't, it's all right. It's my wall. Anyway, our subject, wait a minute, I forgot again. I must discuss a little bit more about me. You know, my name is Derek Kanye. Um, what can I tell you that I haven't told you? Um... Part of my character traits is being humility. I respect God. Uh, I'm a believer. Um, I'm not religious, but I do believe that that, that God is God. Um, I'm in Sweden, Stockholm, right now. A uh, little bit of my story. I'm a recording artist here. I've been here for over 25 years. Um, I have my own record label. I have my own production company and uh, soon you'll see more of me if it's God's will anyway our subject today is I always choose a subject I've been doing this every Wednesday since 2020 so our new subject today is self-absorption now I thought many ways how I can I'd attack this I had so much to say about this subject I have to you have to realize self-absorption has become a common character trait that's killing us self-absorption I mean we uh, we're taught to think about only ourselves we're taught to that we can do everything ourselves we're taught that um, uh, this is a race and you're competing with the next man I'm telling you that's crap I'm telling you we have too many self-absorbed people too many self-absorbed I'll give you an opportunity to understand who you are and how far it's gone if you really understand who you are and what's going on with it I'll give you an example. If you're on Facebook and or if you're on Instagram and it's only pictures of you, you're self-absorbed. When every conversation's about you, you're self-absorbed. When you think of nobody else except you, that's called self-absorption. All right? This means you only center yourself about you. No issue goes to your plate unless it benefits you. Your agenda is to get ahead at all costs. You don't care about anybody else. You're centered and you call that grind. I call that selfishness. That's what I call that. I call that self-absorbed. God is so masterful in how he did it, how we are just a piece of the puzzle that needs another piece to centralize. See the way it works. He keeps us centralized where we can't do anything unless we work together. So working together, does it benefit you? See, what, what, what's interesting is I've always been this kind of person who had respect for character, respect for humility, respect for a person who didn't talk so much about how great they were. I have more respect for a person who talks about how great God is. That's just me. I don't want to hear so much more about how that's normal and that's reality and that's that and that's not going to change. Yeah, you know what? Individually, it's all about what you think and how you see things. But I'm going to put a mirror right up in front of your face and let you see. This is the most self-defeating characteristic trait that we can possibly have. Because we are all meant to, to be here. We are all meant to help somebody else. We're all meant to connect and intertwine and love and build and help elevate people. This is what we were born to do. This is the world that we live in and it's up to us to change it. And if you feel like you have nothing to give and you can't change it, start in your own place, in your own sphere, your atmosphere, your own mirror. Huh? Look in the mirror in yourself and, and really say to yourself, am I self-absorbed? Am I a part of the problem? Because we got too many egotistical people who think that they, this entitlement issues. You're not entitled to anything. I'm not entitled to anything. But I work for it diligently. This is what it's about. The entitlement issue is what's killing us, is killing this planet. The air, very air that we breathe, we cut down the trees and we bring up this black stuff, this oil. That's killing the, the whole earth. But because of the financial, because of the financial gain in it, we don't care about our family. We don't care about the next man coming up. And if we got kids, we don't care about them either. We just want to live the best life we have. 
You say, what, you only have one life? Yeah, 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 you have only have one life. But you can spend it more loving. You can spend it. See, I've never seen a person selfish who's happy. I'll say that one more time. I've never seen a person who's selfish and self-centered happy. Never. I've seen people who are self-centered and self-selfish looking for other people to worship them. And then they'll be happy. But I've never seen people happy. They need audience. See, I can walk by myself. I walk free. I walk carelessly free with no weight on my back because I have no hating issues on you. I have no agenda with loving you. Uh, and I will compromise. I'm not self-absorbed. That's the problem. Facebook has created monsters. You see? Too many sheep, too many Indians, not enough sheep. Too many, too many chiefs, not enough Indians. In order for us to coexist, we're gonna have to come together. Right? That means you lower your ego, I lower mine, and I realize that you're me and I'm you. Until we get to that place of loving each other, we're nowhere and we're nobody. You wanna impress me? Drop your shield of thinking that you all that and come together with this concept. I'm nothing. I'm nothing but a small grain in the sand. If we look at the universe and how vast and as big it is, who are you? Who are you? That's why I, I'm thankful every day of what happens for me. I understand my place. I don't get too high on myself and I don't get too low on myself. I stay in the middle and I make sure that I love myself. I make sure that I'm thankful for the day. I make sure that nobody's stepping on me during the day. And I make sure that I'm not taking any shit from nobody today. You know, I'm not doing that. But I'm also helping others. I'm making sure that I'm not a part of the problem, but I'm a part of the element that's changing the issues. That means I get over myself. I'm over my issue. I'm not self-absorbed. And I try to be... I try to be the reason why somebody smiles today. I honestly try. I'm telling you. I don't care what nobody says. One of my missions is to actually, because I'm happy all the time. I'm singing all the time. I'm happy all the time. Because it's a decided choice in a decided state. This is what I believe. It's a decided choice. And if it's a decided state, I'm not going to bargain with you how great my day is. This is how I see it. I'm not going to bargain over what I deserve and what I don't deserve from you as a spectator. I am grateful. I see things from that perspective. I put those sunglasses on where I'm thankful and I'm grateful and I'm honest about how I feel and I'm transparent and I won't check my, I won't bend myself for what you think I should do. And if you are gender fixated, hey, you can miss me with that shit. Here's the thing for me. Everybody's got an opportunity to either be a part of the problem or part of the change and self-absorbed people are the reason why we in a, in a world detriment. Yes, I believe we need to make some changes. Yes, I believe that this, 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 this pause calls for us to think while we're down. So, cause I, th I know for a fact people don't really hear me and don't feel me and they can't wait to get outside and party. But I think we should use this time wisely to really check within and check ourselves. All right, that's just my take on it. All right, listen, I ain't gonna sit here and preach to you all night long. I'm gonna just tell you how I feel. I hope it doesn't come across like I'm preaching to you. I'm just sharing how I feel and how I can't stand self-absorbed people. You understand what I mean? <laughs> I'm sure you don't either. There's a certain smell that comes to the room when they're self-absorbed and they're all about them. They take all the air out of the room. There's no more freshness in the room. I like people who are just opening, hey, what's happening, and giving and vibing. And it's not about a financial, financial, where you are on the financial ladder, or do you have this or do you have that? We're all human. That's the point, all right? Until we get to that place of loving each other, we missing the whole idea of living. This is how I feel, all right? This is my wall, all right? This is how I feel. I think we're brought here to try to help each other. And I want to say one more thing to you. I love you. So if you haven't heard it today, you heard it now. I mean it from the sincerity from my heart. I love you. And I'm going to keep doing this every Wednesday because it does more for me than hopefully than for you. I just like sharing some of the things I've been through. And this is what this whole podcast is about. It's not about me preaching to you. It's about me sharing a little light that I have just, pers I'm just myself. Like when I get over the bridge, I want to take you over the bridge with me. So it's something I just learned. All right? And as I learn it, I want to share it. Love is love. All right? Listen, I love you. Go do something big. 
Stop making yourself small. Don't help the world you playing small. Huh? I love you. I'm going to say that one more time. I love you. Go do something big. God promised to bless everything you touch. Have you touched anything in faith? Have you put your hands on something? Listen, I'm out. I'll see you next Wednesday, okay? Peace. One.